Imagine wearing a heavy suit and not being able to breathe while trying to save someone. That's just what the men and women of Alpena Fire Department do almost every day. Early Wednesday morning, the fire department practiced routines and trained during a victim rescue just as if they were in a real life fire. Um, what we're doing today as far as the training is we're going over a couple different scenarios. One is a victim rescue and the other one is going to be a mayday situation. Basically it's a situation where a firefighter becomes trapped or lost or uh, becomes unable to make his own exit out of the building um, and they call what's called a mayday and basically it, it causes us to have to activate a, what's called a RIT team which is a rapid intervention team to go in and rescue our own guys. The department has training once a month to prevent accidents like the one they had while putting out flames during a fire last month. We had a recent incident uh, in our last fire where we actually had a, one of our firefighters actually went through the floor into the basement. Um, he was able to self-rescue, however, it basically got us to rethink what our options are and what our own internal uh, policies and procedures are for basically rescuing our own. So. When it comes to this type of training, Edmund says firefighters need to make sure they are in great shape. As far as endurance, it, that's what causes us as firefighters to be in good shape. Um, most of the gear that we wear on us when we go in a, in a structure fire is about 50 extra pounds to our normal weight. So for us to be in good shape is, is pretty important for us. In Alpena for WVKB News, I'm Star Connor.